Hey, boys and girls, let's talk about this word conflict. Conflict starts with the letter C. So C is for conflict. Now, a conflict is a disagreement between two or more people. Have you ever had a disagreement with someone? Did you ever disagree with someone? Have you ever had a conflict with someone? Everybody has. You can have a conflict with your brother or sister. You can have a conflict with a classmate. It's just when you're thinking differently. You have a different opinion about something than someone else. You feel differently in a different way. So when that happens, sometimes a conflict occurs. And it happens at school. Sometimes you and your classmate, we call it maybe an argument. You have a conflict. There's a verbal, you're using words. There's a verbal argument. You're having a verbal conflict. And what we wanna do is keep hands out of the picture. I just put my hands behind my back. When you have a conflict with somebody, we want you to know hands are not necessary. When you're arguing with somebody, when you're in a disagreement, hands are not needed. No way, not at Forest Hill Elementary School, not anyway. Your hands are not needed. We're actually gonna teach you how to resolve that conflict, wash away that disagreement in that argument without hands. We're just going to use it with our into argument with our heart and with our smart, smart minds and with calm, kind words. All right. Are you ready to learn how to end conflict so there's never any more fighting at home? There's never any more fighting at our school because we're using our heart and our head to calm things down. Here we go. Our goal as a bucket filling school is to be a no fighting school. Never, ever, ever. No fighting, no hitting. Never 
that students use words to solve their conflicts. So when you do find yourself in a conflict with someone, you need to, I'm gonna give you four words, okay? The first word, and you could write this down on a piece of paper, stop. Just stop. If words start going back and forth, just stop. Somebody close your mouth. And don't say anything and calm down. Take those deep breaths. There are a lot of ways to calm down. You can take those deep breaths. You may have to walk away for a few minutes, even for the rest of the day, or move to another location. Ask the teacher if you can move. You may need to go stand by the PE coach and just calm down and take some deep breaths, but stop. If your words are getting, if hot words are coming out of your mouth, like are hot, they're mean, they're heated, stop it. Just be quiet. Somebody's gonna have to, maybe the other person, hot words are coming at you, heated mean words. You can't, you can't close their mouth, right? No, but you can close your mouth. You can refuse to continue that conversation. You can refuse to argue. Do you know that? You can refuse to argue. You have the right to say, I'm just not gonna argue about that. I'm not gonna argue with you today. I'm choosing peace today. I'm gonna get along with everybody. Those are things you can say. I'm choosing peace today. I'm not arguing with you. I forgive you. It's over. Let's have a good day. Once you've calmed down, you can say to that person, would you like to talk about the problem between us? They may say, sure. They may say, no. They still may need to calm down. They may not be ready to talk yet, and that's okay. You can always try again later, maybe the next day. Are you ready to talk about our problem now? And they might say yes. Why do you want to talk about a problem? Well, because you want to understand why the other person is upset with you. What exactly are they thinking? What are they feeling? You want to understand the other person so you can help them to reassure them. Maybe they they think something wrong. Maybe they heard a lie about you. Maybe they heard something that wasn't true and you need to know that so you can tell them, hey, I didn't say that, I didn't do that, I like you. It's a We're 10 dance fight, time. Yeah. We are celebrating I think you're great. our 95 yeah. Woo. So lion talk lion so you can understand. Stop and then talk, okay? And you may not be able to talk right away. You may need to separate and talk later. Maybe even find an adult. You can come in my office, my room, and I'll sit down and we can all talk together. Miss Davis, Miss Ford sit down, we'll all talk together. Sometimes your teacher has a moment. The coach can all talk together so you can understand each other. Then when you're talking, think about ways that you can solve the problem between you. Think about ways that you can solve the problem, okay? That you can end the problem. You can work it out. Do you need to apologize? How can you end? Do you need to say you're sorry? Do you need to say that you forgive somebody? Do you need, what can you do to end the problem? Understand their heart. What, why were they upset? Calm down, then try to understand why the other person's upset. And then think of ways that the problem can end. So you're not in conflict anymore because conflict feels terrible. It feels like a, a tornado inside, doesn't it? When you have conflict with someone, it's like a tornado inside. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel peaceful. You're not happy when there's conflict and arguing. 
Don't so forget, please report to bullying. Stop that. But with our words, with our kind, forgiving hearts, with our brilliant minds, and with sweet words, with problem solving, talking to understand, we never want to use our hands ever in a conflict or an argument. Whoa, that's just out of control. Bucket fillers don't use their hands. They use their sweetheart, kind words. They use their mind to think of ways to solve the problem without using their hands, without slapping, without hitting, without kicking, without name calling, because you don't want to call anybody mean names. When you're calling someone a mean name, you need to stop and calm down. You're out of control. <laughs> That's a sign. Stop. You're out of control. Okay? So think of a way that you can end the problem and then try it. Maybe you maybe you can say, can we just apologize? And then try to apologize. Try to try to say that you're sorry. Try to you know, ask for forgiveness. You know, try to fix the problem. Okay? Try to end it right there so it doesn't start again. Try to end end it. Whatever you need to do. If you need to get somebody else to talk to you and that person. But normally, if you would just stop and calm down and you can talk to them in a way to try to understand their anger. Hey, why are you mad at me? What, what have I said or done? I, if, you, if you let me know, we can work through this. Because I'd love to apologize if you tell me what's going on. Okay? Think of ways to end the problem and then try to all do everything you can to end it. Get over it so both of you can have peace back in your heart. Joy. Okay? You can just forget about it, both of you. All of you. Okay? Whoever's involved in the conflict, it can end. And you can have an amazing rest of your day. That's what we want. Don't stay mad at somebody. Don't carry that in your heart. It's not good to carry bad feelings about somebody in your heart. It will like eat up all the kindness and the goodness inside of you. You don't want that. So get rid of those bad feelings. Push them aside in a way. And have an amazing day. Conflict free. No fighting. Okay? We love you so much. Bye. Each of us must take responsibility for our own actions. We want to wish a very happy birthday this week to Jeremy Harper, Jamiracal Tate, Anila Gill, Carter Moore, Mackenzie Golson York, Connor Webb, Vincent Cummings, Carmen Gardner Brown, Jeremiah Harper, Quante Perryman, and Kamaya Robinson. Woo! Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday!